You look great. Everybody looks so great. When I look around this room, I can't help but wonder, is Ozempic right for me? Once Hollywood discovered the shots that lead to weight loss, the rest of the world wanted in. I've lost 80 pounds over the past year and a half using Ozempic or Manjaro. Demand skyrocketed, supply plummeted, and patients who rely on these drugs to control diabetes still face shortages. The spike in demand meant a hike in price. Ozempic and Manjaro went up in 2024. The list price for both is now around $1,000 a month. They are approved for diabetes. Wagobi and Zepbound, approved for obesity, have a list price of $1,000 to $1,300 a month. All four require a prescription, and there is no generic. Insurance companies often cover the drugs that treat diabetes, less commonly cover shots for weight loss. Some patients uh, make a decision to try to afford it. Um, you know, we try to get coupons, anything that we can to help them. Doctors trust manufacturer savings cards and coupons, but they don't always trust Groupons, where spas and wellness centers advertise discounts, no prescription needed. They say they're selling semaglutide, which is in Ozempic and Wagovi, but there's no way to know that's exactly what they're selling. Compounding pharmacies offer semaglutide too, but the FDA keeps a database of patients who reported adverse events after taking compounded semaglutide. Non-name brands are not FDA approved. So we're really not kind of sure what it is that patients are accessing when they go to compounding pharmacies. So this is not something that we recommend in our practice. So is there an option if you aren't covered and you can't afford them? You can try lobbying, not your insurer, but your employer. Many people aren't aware that it's not the insurance companies that determine coverage, but their employers. Cost matters, but safety matters most. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard. If you want to learn more about these drugs and when you should use them, we've posted Dr. Almandoza's full interview on our streaming app, WFAA+.